right, so hey guys, this is uh, Bobby Clark with the uh, Wilderness Systems Pro Staff. And I was going to do an installation video on how to install the fish finder on the new Ride 115X with the uh, new console, but it's so simple, uh, I just decided just to do one like this. So just kind of give you an idea of, uh, of how to install the system, uh, a fish finder on here, and let you see what it looks like. So the, console, the whole concept with the console is to be able to put your fish finder on here with your transducer, drop the transducer down into the hull, into the open part, and be able to fish with it. So basically what you're going to do is uh, you're going to take the mount that comes with your fish finder. It's got two preset holes already drilled here with screws in it. You're going to put that there, you'll mount your uh, transducer there, and then you're going to run all your cords and your battery in the compartment here and they send you this big thick piece of foam to do that with but basically slide your battery in here connect your uh, connect your power uh, cords zip tie your uh, your excess cable together pull what cable you need for your transducer here mount your transducer pull your excess cable up here for your headset and basically what you're going to do I'm using a ram mount here um, I just pre-drilled four holes and put the ram mount on and then put my uh, my fish finder head on here. And that's all it is to it. It's that plain and, and simple. Um, it'd take you maybe maybe 30 minutes to do this. So just wanted to show that to you. That's what the inside looks like when you're done. I can take this out when I get home. I can slide my uh, excess cable out, plug my, uh, plug my charger in on the battery and let it charge overnight if I need to or when I need to. And then when I'm done, I just stuff this back in, just like this, and I'm ready to go fishing. And that's really all it is to it. Um, very simple, very easy. I can tell you this, I've been fishing out of the rod. Uh, I've got about 14 or 15 hours in it now, and I've fished everything from lily pads to very thick hydrilla to floating timber and down trees, and have not had a problem. Uh, dragging the, the kayak to the water from the launch site, uh, grass, pea gravel, concrete. Have not gotten any scratches on the on this. Have not gotten hung up on any of the hydrilla, any of the lily pads, or anything like that. So it does what it's supposed to do, and it does a great job of doing it. Now all I'm going to do is just stick this in the back of my Jeep and go home. So hope this helps you out, uh, gives you some ideas of how you can do this. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks a lot.